ain't never been poor Used to play Sims 4 Put a little wall around niggas take the door off Trap in the swimming pool Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Sierra, or also known as Sierra the Simmer, and today I will be putting you on game to the best food modifications to download and add to your Sims 4 gameplay. I'll also be showing you how to use these mods and where to find them. If you haven't seen any of my other tutorials or any of my other videos, stop this video now and check the top right or the description box to catch up on all the videos you missed. And don't forget to like this video and of course subscribe so you don't miss another video. Now let's get straight into this food mod tutorial video. All right y'all, so we are with my main sim, Tamara Hughes in her apartment and we are going to be cooking up some food. I'm gonna be showing you the different types of foods you can make with the food mods. I will be listing every single creator in the link to download these modifications in the description box. I'm going to try to make this as fluid and as simple and easy to follow as I can. And just if you have any questions, drop them in the description box. I'll always get back to you guys. And we're just going to get straight into this. So first of all, one of my favorite food mods to use is Granny's Cookbook. Now, y'all know the game come with, you know, the foods that come with the different packs, whatever, and, you know, basic food and stuff. But if you want something that don't come with the game, like Granny's Cookbook, which is a mod that you download, and it's a cookbook that you put in the game from build mode. So, you'll go to build mode, search Granny, it'll pop up as Granny's Cookbook. And you can click on the cookbook once you download the food that it comes with. So Granny's Cookbook comes with a list of different foods you can download based on your preference. So if you don't want certain foods, you don't have to download them. So you can click on it and it brings up Granny's Recipes or Snacks. Granny's Recipes consist of breakfast food, which I have one breakfast food, blueberry waffles, Belgian waffles. Then you have desserts and then you have meals. We're going to start off with meals. The meals come with a list, as I mentioned, but you can choose the one that you want i have collard greens and cornbread meatloaf wonton soup chicken and dumpling pot roast corned beef hash sushi and traditional pie and mash with some type of sauce on it or whatever and it'll indicate the skill level you'll need in order to make the food excellent quality or at least normal quality at the minimum so my sim tamara has like an eight or nine cooking school so she's good to go as far as making these uh entrees good so we're going to whip up some meatloaf from granny's cookbook we're going to start off with that now with food mods you can go so far as to download the cookbook and call it one or there's other food mods there's so many food mods but we're going to start off with this so she's prepping this meatloaf and I'm hoping that there's no glitch where she's saying she can't get to something. But watch y'all. Watch it be something where she can't get to anything. But my good sis is whipping up some meatloaf. And she, uh, hopefully she can get to the stove because, sis, we got to get this food together. All right. So she's showing y'all her skills. Like, she's not playing around with this meatloaf. Okay. And please excuse her dog, Reesey. He always want attention. He always want to be in the videos, okay? And he's probably hungry. That's probably what the issue is. But, um, all right, my good sis. Let's, all right. So, for some reason, she can't get to the stove. So, I'm going to try to switch the stoves around. All right. So, we're going to try to see if she can resume this meatloaf because I don't know if the stove was, like, not functional or she just couldn't get to it. But uh, I switched the stoves around. So, now my sis is prepping this meatloaf. Again, y'all, this is not going to be no type of video that's going to be super, super, like, perfect. I'm just flowing how I go and showing y'all how to do it, where to get it. So, we got this meatloaf going. I'm going to show y'all some other stuff. So, with Ice Moon Moon or Ice Mun Mun, she has so many custom foods that you can download. And it'll be based off of the packs you have. So, certain packs have added food 
and I'll get more into that when I sort of show y'all where to get stuff. But with Ice Moon Moon, you can download custom drinks. You can download custom regular drinks or custom alcoholic beverages. Now, the alcoholic beverages that you can download are, you know, Miller Lights, Budweiser's, different type of beers, and Coronas and such. Those are custom drinks. Those type of drinks do not come with the game. The game does come with, like, wine and, you know, alcoholic drinks. But with Ice Mun Mun's custom drink mod, you can download more beers, more drinks, you know, for y'all little, um, you know, housewarmings, kickbacks, parties, you know, situations like that. This is what you need, sis. Ice Mun Mun's custom alcoholic beverages, okay? And you need base mental drugs for it to work. And since it's free, it's going to be in the description. So base mental drugs you'll need for the alcoholic beverages to show up and to be functional, all right? So my good sis is waiting on his meatloaf. I'm just going to sort of explain more stuff. So the meatloaf is done. My good sis, was she wasn't playing. And the meatloaf is good quality, okay? So we made some meatloaf. With Granny's cookbook, you can do snacks too. She has snacks and cold drinks. Snacks will consist of soup, which is what I have currently in my game. But she has more snacks that you can most likely make. But basically, she can just grab some soup. So we're going to just try it out. Sis is going to get some custom soup. And, you know, my good sis like to marinate on a lot of stuff. So, um, I'm not sure what happened, but we're going to move along so you can make custom beverages i don't have any custom beverages so i'm gonna move along to cold drinks which are with ice the custom drinks are granny's cookbook which is Lil bow bub i probably said it wrong but it'll all be in the description on how to download it ice moo moo Lil bow bub and I'll get into the other ones. But the snacks will consist of milkshakes and sort of like tea situations. So let's get, let's try out a strawberry milkshake and see what happens. My game is having some issues as far as things, as far as things working. But she instantly gets it out the refrigerator. It, that's how it works. Like she gets the milkshake, the milkshake out the refrigerator and she drinks it. Okay, so... That's how that works. So yeah. <laughs> you can get tea, you can get chocolate milkshakes, and it even adds, you know, some mood lip buffs that says easy sipping. Now that a thirst quenching is almost enough to make one giddy. Anyways, and her neighbor is trying to come over because she smelled that meatloaf. All right. So she's doing the dishes. She's, you know, whatever. We're going to move right along. All right. So I talked about little, little, um, Ice Moon Moon, custom drinks, custom food. Now, you can also download the McDonald's custom food, which if you go to custom food and um, custom meal, this will be Ice Moon Moon's custom meals. So she can make some deviled eggs, cornbread, candy yams, falafel, blueberry muffins, shrimp and grits, crab cakes, lasagna, jerk chicken, pineapple fried rice. And I'm not going to literally show y'all her making it. I'm going to show y'all... Y'all seen the meatloaf, so it will be the sort of the same situation, sis. She can make these things. Actually, I'm going to have her make some candy, some cornbread, single serving, to show y'all can see. She about to make some meatloaf and cornbread. So if y'all want y'all a little soul food situation, you can actually add these custom foods to, like, the menu at your restaurants that you download. Like, say, like, you make a soul food restaurant and you want some cornbread, meatloaf, jerk chicken, and pineapple fried rice. You can add these custom foods to the menu. And since you in the game, okay? And y'all know the game don't come with no cornbread or no um, jerk chicken or none of that. It come with, like, macaroni and stuff. But y'all know what I mean. Like, this custom food that Ice Moon Moon has provided for us will get you in the game, sis. Like, it just adds, you know, more to the game. Like, you know what I mean? So, she is making some cornbread. And sis, you know, sis like to take a while to make her food. Sis like to make sure the food is good. Okay? And, um... She's whipping it up, okay? Another food mod that I will get into is Seriously's Cooking Overhaul. That's where you can get food subscriptions, have food sent to your house, go grocery shopping and buy food. That'll get you in there, sis. That's another food mod that you can download. So while Tamara's making some cornbread, we are gonna go over, you can either use the phone or the computer to sort of buy or do a food subscription, but... 
There's also an option, and again, y'all, this is real, real. Okay, look at her. She's done with the cornbread. And this is, say like you about to have a Sunday dinner. She about to eat the cornbread, y'all. But <laughs> Sunday dinner, she got meatloaf, cornbread. All she need is macaroni and the yams and probably a side salad or something. You know, a little lemonade on the side. My good sis hungry. She said, you, you, oh, oh. anyways, she's like, you using me for this tutorial. I'm about to get me about to eat me some cornbread okay i don't know why it's sort of getting dark like that but we're gonna ignore that i think the reshade is like really tripping right now anyways we're gonna go over to the phone i believe the phone let's see because it might be the computer y'all but um the dog is still barking like oh okay here we go so you can use the phone or the computer but with the phone, you can buy veggies, herbs, and fruit, buy groceries. So if she clicks buy groceries after she finishes this cornbread, my sister's going to hop on the phone and she can buy some groceries from her phone. So they got, you know, stuff like marshmallows and um, coffee beans, chicken nuggets, a bag of flour, pizza rolls, sugar, donuts, tea, cotton candy, cereal, oatmeal, you know, grocery stuff, candy, tea, um, yogurt. And once she buys this stuff, it'll either show up in her inventory or come in the mail. But we'll see. We'll buy a jar of peanut butter, a thing of milk, and let's buy a box of cereal and some pizza rolls. And that's $27. Not bad. Not bad at all. You feel me? We're going to go ahead and buy that. And all right. So it shows up as a notification. It will not show up in the inventory instantly. It will be sent to her in her mailbox. So just, since she lives in an apartment, it'll be it'll take about two days to get there, but uh maybe a day or two. But it'll show up in her mailbox if I can freaking find her mailbox. Okay, their mailboxes are over here. So in the next day or so, she should expect to see the pizza rolls and milk and whatever in her inventory. Or with Seriously's cooking overhaul, you can download or build a grocery store and place all those viable items on a counter and you know, actually have your sim go to the store and buy it, and it's in the inventory instantly then. Um, you can sort of do it with the retail pack, so you can download a grocery store, have all the different items on sale, have your sim go and buy it, and it'll be in their inventory instantly. And this is just a different way <clears throat> to buy food. If you don't want to go to the grocery store, you can order it online, and it comes in the mail about the next day or so. So let me actually read it. Thanks for ordering. The items Tamara purchased will be delivered to her mailbox. And I've done it before. It usually shows up the next day or maybe the next two days. But my good sis is eating that cornbread. She like, quit playing with me. I'm done with this tutorial. No, I'm just playing, y'all. So we gonna move along to something else. So what's seriously is cooking overhaul? I feel like I covered it generally, but um, you can buy groceries. You can also buy like some fresh fish. You can buy drinks. You can even buy flowers. You can buy veggies and herbs. So let's look up, let's have have her buy some veggies and herbs with this you can sort of um use the veggies and herbs for mm, smoothies um salads or just eat them whole but you can also buy seasonings and even you know other things such like that so um we're gonna buy some plantains maybe a thing of chili powder an apple an avocado and um a lemon what oh that's coming up to a hundred dollars Let, let's take that down a little bit we all right so this fruit a little bit more expensive all right so we're gonna buy uh -huh. some fruit thanks for ordering the items tamara purchase will be delivered to her mailbox so y'all should expect to see the fruit the pizza rolls all the stuff you ordering online is gonna come either the next day or the day after but usually it'll come the next day so um please excuse the dog the dog keep running in and out but anyways um, so that is pretty much the custom foods in a nutshell. There's also this rice cooker that I downloaded and it comes with custom food with the rice cooker. And this is ATS4's custom food. You can cook food, which the options, you can cook this food in this rice cooker, chili, franken beans, stew, gumbo, that kind of thing. Those are custom foods. Some of them come with the game and some of them are custom foods that you can make with a rice cooker. You can also cook rice, which you have options here. These are all custom foods. Millet, rice, Japanese cat rice, red beans and rice, uh, poke bowl or 
cornmeal, those type of deals. So we're going to test it out and cook some rice. We're going to cook some red beans and rice, single serving. And then also when I also wanted to uh, mention was that you can download the McDonald's custom foods and she can have um, a quick meal and she can actually like get like Sundays and um, Big Macs and McNuggets out of her refrigerator like sort of like she was uber eats oh my gosh this dog keep come i'm sorry the dog keep distracting me but uh basically it'll be sort of a situation like she uber eats or she door dash at mcdonald's but you can eat mcdonald's out the refrigerator you can even get snacks like have a quick meal um pringles popcorn oreos salad uh, mcnuggets fries hamburgers cheese pringles i'm gonna think i think i'm gonna have her uh, get cheese pringles but um so she, the food is cooking in the rice cooker. The rice cooker click, quick, cooks quick, so it's sort of instant. So um, we have some red beans and rice, and it's in our inventory. We're going to eat it. I'm going to show y'all sort of the gameplay of eating it. So my good sister decides she want to eat her red beans and rice at her little office desk, okay? She said, quit playing with me. So she's eating her red beans and rice, you know. My good sis. So that's how the rice cooker works. It'll also be in the description. It's instant. You're making little rice dishes. Something quick. Something that won't take long. Because y'all know when the Sims make food, it takes forever. The rice cooker is instant. So she made her some red beans and rice and like lickety split, sis. Okay? Now I'm going to show y'all sort of if it works. It does work. But my game is going through some glitches. And y'all know how that go. So you can um get a quick meal. She can get some oreos like for a snack let's see if it works my sis tripping okay let's teleport her here come on girl oh my goodness y'all this is how my game go like nobody want to do anything i want them to do y'all all right so we also have a coffee maker we can make a custom beverages which i don't have any custom um coffee unless you buy like the custom coffee beans and stuff you can make like the different types of coffee but um and I do. So I have the Ar Arabica coffee, Robusca coffee. So we just going to make a thing of that. And my good sis is about to make some coffee. So let's get into this. All right, sis. She t you know, she waiting for that coffee to brew. She like her coffee. Perfect. All right. So my good sis is about to eat her coffee. And she's sitting on the cooler. I'm also going to show y'all the little beers. Have her. I got my sis eating all types of stuff. My sis stomach going to be messed up. Okay. So we're going to get a custom drink. We're going to get a custom alcoholic beverage. And um, I'm not sure if the coffee's. A, but she's enjoying that coffee I think. I'm going to have her do a custom. There's no custom snacks. Let's do custom drink. Alcohol, be, alcoholic beverages. It'll pull up. And we're going to just do a Corona. Okay. I might have to move this because it might. So we're going to go over here and do it because I don't I think it was in the way. So let's do a custom, custom beverage. Corona. Oh, I click something else. Oh, well, y'all get the gist. I'm going to pull her bladder up, <clears throat> which what is she? Is she not going to do it? Like you're going to mess up my tutorial up releases. Like every time I click it, she does not do it. But y'all get the gist. They can grab alcoholic beverages out of there. And they can grab McDonald's snacks. Let's see if she can do it. If she doesn't, then that'll probably conclude my food tutorial. But, um, um, let's do snacks. Pringles. Nope. All right, y'all. So I hope, uh, this tutorial was easy to follow. The dog has to use the bathroom. He barked the entire tutorial. Um, this is also a custom um utensil or <laughs> sort of like kitchen tool that you can use to make milkshakes so if you have the cool kitchen game pack ats4 has a milkshake maker and you know in cool kitchen pack you can make ice cream this one you can make the ice cream into a milkshake so you can click on it craft ice cream so you can make the ice cream and it'll make it into a milkshake and while we're at it let's just see if she can do it but y'all get the gist they can actually do it my game is just going through a lot of crazy things so she only needs skill level one to make some van a vanilla milkshake and y'all know with the custom um drinks you can do the m custom milkshake drinks but then you can also make you some vanilla a vanilla milkshake from scratch so my good sis looks it looks like my good sis can make this 
she can do this so we're about to try to make a vanilla milkshake with the um custom milkshake maker and you need the cool kitchen pack for this to sort of work sis because it is it's in the pack um and it's sort of like they recolored or re uh overwritten the actual ice cream maker so it can make a milkshake but um she's making it and it's usually instant um we're going to oh it's still making so we're gonna wait until the ice cream makes she's gonna flick that boy up and she's trying it. I hope it's good because her skill level should be good enough. She's liking it. So we're just going to get this milkshake together, sis. All right. Is it done, sis? Because you ain't said nothing. Oh, my gosh. Is it still going? Like, I'm not trying to have this video to be too long, Tamara. We got to get this ice cream. Okay, it looks like it's done, maybe. Tamir oh, it's in her inventory. Tamara has finished creating a carton of vanilla ice cream. The carton has been added to her inventory. All right, y'all. <laughs> so the ice cream is in her inventory. We're going to just drag it right here. And you can set your topping, your garnish. So we can set the topping with whipped cream and strawberries. That sounds good. So uh, garnish. They got orange slices, peppermint sticks, sprinkle sticks, banana slices, cinnamon sticks, mint leaves, waffles, and strawberries. So we're going to do strawberries, and we're going to, you can choose to grab a cone, grab a bowl. We're going to grab a cone, click play. So it makes just ice cream. And somebody just walked them into our apartment, like, um, excuse me. The dog has to pee. Somebody she completely doesn't know just walked into her apartment. Tamara's about to eat her ice cream. My good sister ate ice cream, uh, meatloaf, corn. Well, she didn't eat the meatloaf. Hey, everybody. So the food mods that were mentioned in the tutorial are Seriously's Complete Cooking Overhaul. You can find this in the description box or you can Google Seriously's Complete Cooking Overhaul. And it'll go into detail of everything you need, how to download it, what you'll need, how you'll do it. So how to buy groceries, which I sort of briefly went over in the video. All the ingredients can be purchased from the shop for menu on either your computer, your phone, or your tablet. You can even do it on a cash register at a um, restaurant or retail place or wherever a place has a cash register. And you can also go to our rabbit hole grocery shopping store, which I didn't show in the video. But if you click on your sim, it'll bring up different types of grocery stores that they can go to it'll be a rabbit hole they won't actually physically go to you have the option of downloading a grocery store and have them physically go there and buy items but you can also have them go to a rabbit hole grocery store and it'll indicate the days that they are open this mod also comes with custom packaged foods and as i mentioned and shown in the video tamara bought some chicken nuggets pizza rolls and all that jazz and cereal so this seriously cooking overhaul mod comes with custom foods sort of like grocery store food and it'll go in more detail of what you'll need how you'll use it and you can find the download at the bottom and let me get to that you can download it on sims file share mega or you can download it on patreon now we're going to move on to the next custom food that i mentioned in the video granny's cookbook you can find this in the description box Granny's cookbook comes with various custom food. And it also comes with a cookbook that you'll click as you see here and as you've seen in the video. Quick meals, Granny's recipes, cold drinks, and also snacks. So on the website, it'll go into detail of the type of food that it comes with. You'll To download it, you'll go to files. You'll download the raw file that will come with the Granny cookbook and it'll come with custom foods. And it also shows you the different foods it comes with. Chicken Alfredo, chicken and waffles, um, milkshakes, lasagna, baby, uh, a baby reveal cake. How cool is that? You know the game doesn't come with that kind of thing. And you can even do a baby reveal with, you know, CC. Deck, you know, y'all know what I mean. Like, y'all can make a little gender reveal, make a gender reveal cake with the custom food. You can make smoothies, mac and cheese and fried chicken. And it also comes with meatloaf and all that, too, and cornbread, as you've seen in the video. So this is a must-need mod if you want some southern style food or some just more food to your game next i also mentioned custom food interactions so um with this one you can do or you can download toddler food which i didn't quite mention but there is an option to download some custom toddler food and um 
download this interaction mod so you can do single servings family size party sizes and um it'll bring you need this so it'll bring up the option to do custom meals and custom foods custom snacks and sort of that type of thing now what i tried to do in the video but it didn't actually work it does work but it wasn't working for me in the video custom alcoholic drinks which are beers various types of beers so this is a good mod if you want to do kickbacks home warmings house warmings whatever y'all do when y'all you know got some custom drinks beers this is what you'll need ats4s beer made drinkable custom drinks and you'll just click on a cooler and grab you a drink next we got custom drinks now what i was mentioning before was custom alcoholic drinks this is just regular custom drinks that as you can see it'll show you pictures of different things so you can get gin and tonic or margarita so these are also alcoholic drinks but they do have custom drinks which i will show in the description you got to download the drink the custom drink interactions and there's two versions that's the latest version and then there's custom drinks so you have to download uh one or the other so you can download this one which is the older version but i will pref i would suggest you download the latest version so that it'll be compatible with the custom drinks now this is another mod that i'll just briefly talk about it just adds the texture to the food and make it look more realistic so this is a food texture mod by utopia sims and it just makes the sim it makes the food look more realistic and not so you know not it just doesn't look very appetizing it makes the food look more appetizing and more realistic you know like the haddock sandwich that comes with the cat and dogs pack it makes it look more appetizing and more realistic now another creator that i mentioned was little Bo bub and this creator makes custom food as well i get a lot of my custom food from this creator like milkshakes cookies desserts cakes different meals so you can even click she has it sectioned off the granny's cookbook meals section so this is where you'll download meatloaf pot roast chicken dumplings chicken alfredo all this barbecue ribs and beans breakfast cereal buffalo chicken pizza like come on now y'all need all this don't it don't come with game now there's desserts and you have you know cakes cookies uh chocolates little birthday cakes baby reveal gender cake which is free to the public so once you go to the, her patreon it's free for you to download a baby gender reveal cake and all the other ones you'll just have to click to see whether they're available for the public which this creator usually releases the um food eventually for the public or you can patreon to little bow bub and get you some custom food and that will pretty much cover the mods I mentioned. So this is where you will find these mods. They will be in the description. The video sort of showed you how to actually go and do it and how to make the food. I hope this video was fluid. This was as raw as possible. It wasn't scripted. I went with the flow. I hope it was easy to follow and I will see y'all in the next video.